Hey, what's up everybody? It is Kellen here from Start Your Systems and welcome back to another edition of Track Walk in MX Bikes, where today we're gonna to be playing a track called Sipu, I believe is how you pronounce it, Sipu or Sipo or something like that, uh, which is a track that is actually based in Finland or Sip Sipu, Finland, I guess is where it would be. Um, and this is a track created by Wakeley or Vakeli, depending on how you pronounce it. I believe the Finnish pronunciation is Wakeley, um, but I'll have him correct me if I'm dead wrong. Uh, this is a bit of a, I guess, kind of like an older track. I'm trying to do these MX Bikes uh, track walk videos on free tracks, I guess, and kind of do showcase stuff on the more paid mods tracks and stuff like that. But the free tracks uh, always like to give some you know, credit to the creators and show them off. And oh, we're going super long into that corner. Front flip. Oh, yeah. Um, and also give you users at home something that's uh, fun to play and also isn't. Uh, you know, always going to break the bank. So, Sipu, 2016 layout here by Wakeley. And uh, very, very fun track. Really had a lot of time uh, put into it where I was just doing some motos and didn't even realize how much time I put into it. But uh, great flow. Uh, in terms of geographically, it's uh, what I would describe as about like an hour away from Helsinki in Finland, which is obviously a very large city in Finland. And... Um, it's kind of like, I feel like the track has like a little bit of like a sandy feel to it. I don't know if that's true to real life or it's a little bit more hard packed, but I feel like it's a little bit sandy based on the way that, you know, the corners have these kind of rollers coming into them, rollers coming out of them. Um, it's got some nice tabletops and some stuff like that. And I feel like the lines that he created on this track flow together really well. But to me, it just feels, I don't know, personally, a little sandy. Could be dead wrong. Uh, but it, it does look like a fun track. Like it looks like a track that I could totally see myself riding because uh, as you guys may know about me, I'm not a huge fan of jumping. So I really personally enjoy tabletops and, um, you know, good turns and just kind of flowy sections and stuff like that, which I feel like this one definitely has. Um, but like I said, tabletops for me is, is the way to go. So I like this track because of that. I feel like I've done tracks uh, that are replica tracks from Finland and they are almost always all tabletops or something like that. So I think that this is actually maybe a law for Finnish motocross to have only tabletops. At least that's what I remember from some past stuff that I've read or heard about. Could be wrong on that as well. But let's just kind of get back to the track a little bit. Flow wise, really, really good flow. Like I, it feels to me a little bit like it's, it's kind of like a mix of like a, a national is track but also like some single track stuff which gives it more that like local track feel like it's got some tight sections where it's like feels a little bit of like overgrown shrubbery and like tight narrow just maybe two ruts per corner but then there's like some more fast stuff with you know braking bumps and rollers and other things like that as you come through here and you know jump out to this get to this inside rut for example like a bunch of different stuff like that oh, we're gonna hop over some ruts right here Ooh, almost over the bars. Um, but yeah, like it's it's got a great flow. I feel like traction-wise it works because there is some type of roll resistance in it, whether it's sand or whether it's just he's got like a bit of a grippier traction, I'm not sure. But it doesn't feel like it's too difficult to, you know, get some decent traction all across the track. Like I don't feel like I'm coming out of any corner and getting on the gas and feeling like I can feel the rear end stepping out. So it gives you that opportunity to kind of lay into each corner and you know feel like you can almost give it the beans every time you come out of the corner and not over <clears throat> not overdo it too much or anything like that so like the feelings with that i like how a lot of these corners have ruts that are like just good enough that if you nail them or get them pretty close to good you'll get enough speed to clear the next jump which always feels like pretty cool to me to like come out of a corner and kind of like seat bound something but it, it doesn't feel like it's a stretch it just feels like if you get it right it, it feels really cool and good and stuff like that look at now I'm, Kind of flowing the track together, and as I say that, I blow that rut. It's a little downhill right here into this big jump right here. See, rear end kicked out just a little bit right there on landing, but I feel like that was just because I was leaned off the back of the bike and almost kind of like forcing it to do it. So, nice little double double section through the back right here. I think he's done a, a terrific job with the flow of the ruts. Like, once you figure out which kind of way the track goes in every sense and form, like the ruts all make a ton of sense on how it flows together. Um, I don't know how much I believe Wakeley is actually finished and this is why he's like done a local track It's maybe something that he's ridden before so I don't know how much of 
uh, what he's done on this track is is rather similar to the track versus him just taking like the creative freedoms of saying like, well, this line feels like it, it goes this way specifically, so I'm gonna adjust it and make it you know flow that direction or make it so that it kind of comes through the corner this way or whatever. But whatever he's decided to do, I feel like it all ties together really nicely. It works well. Um, I don't feel like I go through any corner and go, well, that, that doesn't make any sense. Like, why does it come out of the corner and the rut goes that way? It just, you know, this rut flows into this rut. And if I was a little bit better at leaning, I would get into that a little bit nicer. Let's take some different lines. I haven't hit some of these like more outside ruts, a little like kind of hitch in that rut. That feels kind of cool. Popping over that tabletop right there. Take this little outside to in. That feels pretty cool. And I also feel like he hasn't made the bumps so large on the track that you can't also like sit down and feel like you're you're gonna get kicked around too much. Oh, a little bit too fast. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. But I feel like I can sit down in each corner and not expect the bike to really throw me around too much, which um, for a, you know, I guess what I would call like a mid-range level player like me, I don't feel like I'm the bee's knees at this game, but I also don't feel like I'm a beginner anymore. Although I'm <laughs> saying that and doing that at the exact same time. Like, oh, I'm not a beginner as I front flip down the track violently. <laughs> um, so, Anyway, back to my point what I was saying, I feel like because of the bumps through the corners are not overbearing, it works well for a beginner. Like if you are a beginner and you want to play this track, you're not going to feel like this track is unbelievably impossible for you. Like there are some national type tracks that the, you know, the creators wanted to make it, I think as realistic as possible. And because of that made really big bumps in each corner, really gnarly ruts that you felt like you had to get into just right and stuff like that. But this track, I don't feel like does that. I feel like it does a good balanced job of, you know, the ruts are, are big, but the bumps aren't overbearing. You can still lay into the ruts very nicely and feel like you're, you're actually tying corner to corner together. Um, so, you know, I think he just did a really good job of, of making the way that this track flows. I think it flows really, really well. And, uh, it's a track that I could personally see myself just like putting in laps on. Like this is a really actually good little training ground for attacking ruts and knowing the angles you got to take through the corners and stuff like that. I feel like it just does um, almost exactly what you expect each corner to do. You can look ahead to the ruts and know what's coming. Um, so yeah, it just overall, it flows really well. The ruts are really good. The bumps aren't overbearing. The jumps are nice because they're, they're small and reasonable and it feels realistic in that sense. Like. If you're looking for a track with big jumps that you can toss, you know, turn up whips and stuff like that. Well, you know, this might not be the track for you. You could maybe like kind of toss a little eh, off of that guy, but that's about it. Um, everything else is, is, you know, pretty small and, and feels more realistic in that regard. So I feel like a lot of people play either MX Simulator or MX Bikes because they're looking for a more realistic experience. And so when you have a, not only a, a replica track, which this is, but you also make it so that it feels similar to what I assume the replica track actually feels like. It, you know, provides that more immersive quality of the game where you, you aren't playing it just off the cuff and randomly and it, it feels more natural as a video game. But you also have to be good at the game too. You can't just mosey around the track and feel like you're, you're doing anything worth a darn. Um, but I feel like I'm doing all right on this track. Uh, I'm gonna go to third person for a couple laps right here towards the end of this video just because uh, I do know that we have some audience members that prefers the third person view um, and can get a little bit nauseated with the first person look. Like I personally play in first person in this game now, but it took a long time to get to that level where I felt like I was comfortable playing in first person. Um, for me, I felt like uh, you know third person was gonna be the way that I played this game because I play every single other game in third person. MX Simulator, uh, MX just ATV Reflex. Um, yeah, any game you you can think of, I, I played in third person, except this one. Uh, I felt like I needed to learn it in first person. I feel like it's it's actually a better game in first person as well. Um, but I do know that a lot of people also play it in third person and also like to see it. So I try to switch it up. I can't do this from X Simulator ever because I do actually get motion sickness from first person gameplay in Sim, but I just, I guess, train my brain to be okay with it in this game. So this is a little bit of third person action, which uh, is nice for me to get out and do every once in a while, just because when you whip off of a jump, it obviously looks, in my opinion, way better in third person. Like just kind of kick out a nice whip like that, bounce and get absolutely sauced into the wall. But, uh, you know, aside from that, like, I, I just feel like it's too bouncy and it looks a little bit too off in third person in this game. And so I actually appreciate that there are so many people that, you know, create YouTube videos and stuff like that, that are first person players 
because I feel like people would be put off by seeing this game in third person. I, I posted stuff on our Instagram before that is third person gameplay and a lot of the responses is how dumb it looks. So what are you gonna do? <laughs> it's a, I think a very first, first person centric game but at least try to show off a lap or whatever here in third and you guys can see it for yourself. Also take a quick spin around the facility so you guys can kind of see some of the outskirts stuff. I don't know how uh, true or realistic the outside of the facility is to real life. I mean, I did look at uh, a Google image search and Google maps of this track. So I got an idea of what the surrounding area looks like. This uh, little hilly section over here is, I believe actually there. Um, he has the pit set up so that it's like right here on my right. But I believe this hilly section to my left is actually there in real life. He's also got like this little like turn track type of thing right here. I don't really, I guess that's what you just call it. It's like a turn track. It seems almost like a 50 track. So maybe I should have hopped on a 50 and done a lap on it, but it's like a little, just a rinky dink kind of turn track. And then I think there's actually even a, a second track or something right over here. Yeah, there is. I knew it. All right, right here. So there's a little, oh, I'm going the wrong way. So this feels like what I would call at my local track, like an 80 track. Um, you know, the 50 track would be the little like turn track. And this right here would be, it has some jumps, but the jumps are usually pretty small. And you have your, you know, 10 year old, 11 year old kid go out here and ride this track so that they don't get ran over on the pro track, but they still have some, some cool stuff that they could do. So this feels very much like the 80 track. Um, and then the other thing would be the pit bike track or the 50 track, whatever you want to call it. Oh, look at this, even whoops on this track. <laughs> oh man, cool little track though. I like the idea of like including the extended parts here, like the 50 and the 80 track. And then you also have the main track and stuff like that. Um, overall, he just did a great job on this. And I, th I believe I've done some Vakily tracks before, so I'm not surprised. I, I think that his quality of work is, is you know, superb. And it's also great on him, in my opinion, to, to release some free tracks. Like I, I fully respect the track creators that have paid tracks. I get it. I get how much time and effort goes into it. But I think that the the best way for like a community growth is to have a still, you know, in some shape or form, free way to get mods and stuff like that. And I think that it's awesome when the, the creators release some free stuff. So, you know, if Wakely wants to release some paid tracks, that's that's fine too. But at least he has some free stuff to bank off of. And I think a lot of the other creators have that as well. So I, I don't blame them for wanting to get a buck or two for their tracks. Um, it's a lot of work and, and I get it, but I also think the free stuff is definitely the way that you continue to grow the community and not stifle um, a game that is on the rise at the moment. So just my two cents right there. But that is Sipu 2016, a real life finished track in MX Bikes by Vakely or Vakely, depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, if you guys want to try this track out for yourself, be sure to download it in the description. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, or need help getting the track in game, or anything along those lines, please be sure to reach out, ask me, and uh, be happy to help you. But thanks for tuning in and watching another video here on Start Your Systems. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. So long for now.